Hi everyone, today we're going to perform an LTE network survey inside of this office using the Epic Prism scanner, this tablet, and the Ivy Wave mobile survey application. As you can see, I have the scanner with me right now. It is held on this tablet via the magnet that comes with it. Very lightweight, simple to use, uh, powered via the tablet, via the USB key, and it's connected to the application as well via the USB key. Everything's integrated inside the IBWave mobile survey application and easy to set up and get started. Now we are ready to start our survey. As you can see, I have my scanner set and my scanner connected via the USB. My mobile survey application is open. I have imported my floor plan for this office and I'm set and ready to go. So first I will move to the survey tab, click on new survey. This will allow me to configure the survey I want to test for. Make sure you have the Epic Prism scanner selected as the scanner of choice. I like to do mine in continuous mode. And here under LTE technology, you can select the bands you want to survey for. In my case, I will choose band number two and number four and add the channels of interest. In my case, I have channel 923.25 that I would like to scan for. Once it's configured and set, press start to start your survey. I am located here at this office. I will put my first point of survey as it's analyzing the data and setting up the scanner. Once it's ready, this will turn green and I will start my walk. Okay, I just completed my survey. I press done, I am brought back to the floor plan. As you can see, our collected survey is shown with the interpolation automatically turned on. This will interpolate the results. The way we can look at the results, first we can take a look at the legend. It is it is in the rainbow color. The hotter colors represent higher signal power. As you get colder, it's lower signal power. We have our filter right on top here. Uh, here you can choose the technology and the band that you want to visualize which channel under that technology and band. In our case, for band number four, we have the 2325. The PCIs that have been collected and detected. So let's look at a certain PCI, 27. We can see that the signal is getting weak on the left end and lost. PCI 43 and PCI 219, for instance. Clearly, the PCI 219 is more active on one half of the office and not detected on the other half. Another way you can analyze your results. You can also take a look at your uh, KPIs, the measurements you've got. By default, we have RSSI selected. You can switch to your RSRP, RSRQ, or take a look at your signal to noise interference ratio, SNIR. All in all, the PRISM scanner is well integrated with mobile survey. When you're complete, your survey is directly imported and placed in your project. Simple to share with an engineer to import this project back into the IB Wave desktop application and take use of the survey as well with your design and optimization.